Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing an updated hair care video. Other than skincare, my number one thing you guys asked me about is my hair. So I wanted to do an updated video for you guys. I have some new products that I have been loving and using. So I'm gonna be taking you through my full routine from wet to dry to styled and just talking about some of my favorite products. So if you guys are interested in any of that, just keep watching. We're just gonna get started and we are gonna be starting off in the shower. So let's go, let's do it. Okay, so I'm back, obviously I'm all dressed. I have my makeup done and my hair is up in this little towel. So this is a microfiber towel from the brand Kitsch. I absolutely love it. It makes my hair dry so much faster, less frizzier, and it's a lot more lightweight than a big old, you know, heavy bath towel. So I'll usually leave this in my hair for like 15 to 20 minutes or as like as long as I'm like doing my makeup or something and I'll either go to bed after that if it's nighttime or I will continue on with my hair routine if it's daytime. So if it is nighttime what I like to use on my pillow is basically this hair towel but in a pillowcase form. This is also from the brand Kitsch. It's that microfiber material really good at absorbing the water and moisture from your hair. And then on the back it has like this waterproof like like rubbery plastic type thing and so you put this over top of your pillow it has like these straps that go around and it prevents your pillow from getting soaking wet because if I go to bed with wet hair I usually would put a towel over my pillowcase but that's just like a pain and then the towel is soaked and for whatever reason this absorbs the water really well but it doesn't feel like soaking wet to lay on it's really interesting so uh, I wanted to mention that for you guys so now let's move on to the styling portion which I'm sure most of you guys are here for. So I'm gonna take my hair out of this. It is probably like, I don't know, like 75 to 80% dry. It's really only wet, like at the root. So before I go in with my blow dryer, I'm gonna apply a hair oil and you can use this on wet or dry hair. Sometimes I do both, sometimes I do one or the other, um, but it's the Playa Ritual Hair Oil. I've raved about this so many times. I absolutely love it. It's a very lightweight oil. So if you have fine hair or you just don't like thick, goopy oils, you're gonna love this. And it also smells amazing. And I'm pretty minimal with the products I use on my hair I just don't like mousses and like tons of product in my hair so this oil feels like nothing so I'm just gonna run it through the ends of my hair it smells so good if you like scents like La Labo Santal 33 or whatever the number is uh, you will love how this smells so put that through the ends and then I'm gonna take a little tiny bit and just put it on like the top of my hair. Now I'm just gonna go through and brush my hair before I go in with my blow dryer. And this is just a wet brush. Get rid of all the tangles. So then on to the blow dry. I know you guys are gonna be mad at me, but I do use the Dyson Airwrap. I have like a first impressions video of me using this and I really did not want to like it because it's so expensive. But you guys, it's so good. If you want like big, voluminous, like just healthy, shiny hair, I feel like you would love this. It is expensive. If you can find it on sale or a coupon or on QVC or something, I would say try it out and see if you like it because I feel like pretty much everyone loves it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this. I'm not gonna really, really be talking because it's kind of loud, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the round brush attachment just to get like the root of my hair nice and dry. Thank you. 
So now my hair is nice and dry. I typically don't use that as a dryer just because I air dry my hair probably 98% of the time and then I'll go in and style it with the air wrap but I just wanted to show you guys really quick how I just kind of like roughly dry it with the round brush attachment. I didn't really do any round brushing. I probably could have used the paddle like brush part but that's the one that I had in front of me. So now we're nice and dry. So I'm gonna clip the top section up just so it's not in my way, but my bangs never want to stay. So, so now I'm going to get to curling my hair. I'm going to be using the smaller attachment and I did upgrade to the long barrels just because my hair is so long. I can do it with the shorter barrels, but it's just easier for me to do it with the long barrels. So you don't have to, but if you have super long hair, I would probably invest in the longer barrels. And I like to use the smaller barrel. Sometimes I'll use the bigger one if I'm only like wanting like a little bit of like a bend. But if I want curls, I will use the smaller one and then they kind of fall throughout the day. So I'm gonna go in with this and all the pieces I'm gonna be curling under except for the front face framing pieces. Just left with a really cute bouncy curl so it's really easy and it takes me like 10 minutes to do the whole thing like it's so quick and easy boom and i know it looks like really like shirley temple-y at first but once you have it like all like brushed out. It looks very nice and pretty. I'm just going to push those to the back and take the top down. volume okay so now we're looking nice and bouncy and I'm loving it then for my styling products I'm gonna use these two from Redken they are sponsoring today's video so thank you to Redken but if you have not tried out these products definitely check them out I'm gonna go in with dry shampoo and this is one of like my number one tips for extending your wash. Like I probably wash my hair once a week, maybe twice if I was doing something crazy that week, but usually it's a once a week type deal. And a lot of you guys ask how I do that. I think a big part of it is the fact that I do have a very dry scalp, but my other top tip is to use dry shampoo on clean hair. So my hairdresser, Claire, she taught me this trick and it's so good. So basically you go in with dry shampoo before dry shampoo is needed. So it's more of like a preventative measure. When it's already in your hair, like the second your hair starts to get oily, the dry shampoo is there. It's got your back. It's going to absorb the oil before 
you need it to. So instead of doing damage control, it's more of like a preventative measure. So my favorite one right now is this one from Redken. It's their Invisible Dry Shampoo. I am absolutely obsessed with this. There are very few dry shampoos out there that are truly invisible and if you have brunette hair or dark hair you know that this is true it's so hard to find one that does not leave like a chalky like grayish whitish residue and this one does the job i don't know how they do it but red can definitely nailed it it leaves your hair feeling very clean and refreshed without feeling like there's any sort of residue on your hair so not only does it look invisible but it feels invisible and that is key for me. I do not like when I can feel a hair product in my hair. So this one is amazing. It's also fragrance free, which I particularly love because then it's not like battling or competing with the perfume that I'm wearing because I want to smell my perfume. I don't want to smell my dry shampoo. So yeah, I really have been loving this dry shampoo. I use it on first day clean hair. And then I also use it throughout the week to keep my hair feeling fresh and give it a little volume. So I'm going to spray some of this. And you want to make sure to get it in all of the root area, not just the top. Make sure to massage it into your scalp so it's all nice and rubbed in and absorbed. Whew. So now that we're all massaged in, I'm just going to lightly just kind of like brush through the ends. And to be honest with you, I never like my hair on the first day, like when it's clean. I don't like it. It's always like kind of flat for me. I like it better when it's a little bit dirty. So I'm going to just go ahead and curl my bangs a little bit with my curling iron. And this is the curling iron that I've been raving about for years. And if I'm not using my Dyson Airwrap, I'm using this. You can use it as a clamp or as a wand. But my bangs, for whatever reason, never want to stay curled when they're freshly clean. So I'm just going to use my curling iron for the bangs. And on days that I don't use my air wrap and I just use my curling iron, I literally do the same thing. Like I hold my curling iron the same way as you saw me holding the Dyson. So I will like do an under and under and then vertical for the front pieces. So if that makes sense, um, like the front pieces, I will always hold the curling iron vertical like this and do it. And then the pieces out here, I always curl under. So you can do the same thing with a curling iron. Like this is like the same size barrel as that as well. And you just hold it the same way. So if you don't have a Dyson Air Wrap, just try doing the same motion, but with a curling iron. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off so I don't burn my life. Then I'm just gonna go in with my Redken Texture Spray. This has a really nice touchable feel. It just gives my hair, it just gives my hair just enough grip so it can hold the style without feeling crunchy like hairspray. And then at the end, I just like to add a little bit more of the Playa oil just to tame any flyaways and give it a little bit of shine. And then that is pretty much it. You guys usually see me on like day two or three or four day hair. So if my hair looks a little bit different, that is why it usually has like some more dirt and grime in it. And then during the week in between, I will usually touch up here and there with my Biobionic Graphene curling iron. I have a, a hair and makeup tutorial, like a quick 10 minute hair and makeup tutorial, which I show how I touch up my hair when it's dirty using this. So if you guys wanna check that out. Oh, and the color of my hair, I know a lot of people ask, the base color is just my natural, I'm finally back to my natural color. And then this summer we added some baby light highlights all over and then a few extra brighter pieces in the front. So that's pretty much what I asked for at the salon. I think I am going to deepen them up a little bit for the fall and winter. Let me know what you guys think, if I should or not. I'm definitely not going lighter, so don't request that. Oh, and then one other thing I wanted to mention is the supplement that I use for my hair, skin, and nails. I use a few, but this has definitely been my favorite one. I will insert a picture of it here because I'm too lazy to go into my kitchen and grab it. Uh, so that is my number one product. It is a collagen generator. So instead of being a collagen supplement, it 
is a collagen generator. So it helps your body to produce more collagen on its own. It's amazing. I swear by it. I've been using it for about a year now, over a year now, and it's amazing. So if you have not tried that and you're wondering what hair supplement I recommend, definitely check that one out. And yes, now I think that is pretty much it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.